Hi, today I'm going to be building the most amazing, fun toy in the world. Dun, 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 dun. The Pineapple House! As you can see, um, it obviously has the pineapple. SpongeBob Patrick, it comes with eight cans of Play-Doh compound. And it's for five plus. Here is one of the pineapples that you can make. The stuff that it comes with. And here are some of the instructions at the back. And as you can see, you can also decorate it for Christmas. Yeah, let's open it. Okay, here's the inner piece. Here is the mailbox, the chimney, the two jellyfishing nets, and then here is the spatula. Here is one of the pineapple molds, another one of the pineapple molds, the roller, the other pineapple mold, uh, this mold for the entrance, this knife, the five stampers, the orange Play-Doh compound. Um, we have green, two colors in one, red and pink, yellow, this like cream color, dark gray, and blue. We have the instructions. Oh, and obviously um, SpongeBob and Patrick. Here's SpongeBob with his gigantic head. Aww! Here we have Patrick, Patrick Star. He's so cute. So now we are obviously going to make the pineapple house. Uh, what are the instructions? It has so many pictures to help you build it and understand it. So the first step is to get this white mold and the orange Play-Doh compound and just roll it onto the mold. I don't know if you noticed this, but right now the orange doesn't look that neon, but like if you put it onto the roller, it looks like super neon. That's so cool, it's like a little secret. We're just gonna spread that out. And now we're gonna get this roller and just roll it out. It's actually pretty easy to roll out since it's like this Play-Doh compound. It's soft and very nice. You're just going to keep rolling it until you think it's like nice and smooth and even. I would say if you don't have like any more Play-Doh compound, you can take the excess and just put it wherever you need some. You can also use the knife to take off some of the smaller pieces. Anyway, now we're gonna get this yellow stamp mold, I guess you can say, and just press it on there. Just like that. There we go. Now that we have all of this Play-Doh compound, a nice and molded, now we're just gonna get the blue, the small one, and get the, the mailbox. Um, so we're gonna make the door right now. So I'm just gonna get the blue Play-Doh compound. I will make it like into a ball and then just like squish it or something, you know? And now just press the mold onto it. We're gonna get this and just like press it into like the middle spike, I guess you can say. Like there's seven here, so we're gonna uh, put it onto the fourth one just like that, so it should be looking something like that. And now we're gonna get again the blue Play-Doh compound, make it into a ball, squish it, and now we're gonna get the chimney. We're just gonna press that, just like that. So we're just gonna press it onto the Play-Doh compound. And now do that one more time and press. And now with your finger or with the bottom of the knife, you're just gonna just like pop that out, I guess you can say. Now we're gonna get the inner piece mold and just like, was well not really mold, but still. Now we're just gonna roll it just like so, there. 
just like that. And I'm just like gonna shape, make like the shape out of the top very nice. So now we're gonna make the leaves for the pineapple. So we're gonna get the green, so let's just spread that out. Now we're gonna get the roller and just roll. Now I'm gonna get the knife so it's easier and just with my finger, I'm just gonna keep on like rolling it, I guess you can say. So it should be looking like that. Now we're just gonna put the leaves and now just put the chimney and then just look like that. So we're gonna get this mold and we're gonna use this part. So just get a bowl and spread it out. Now we're gonna get the roller again. Oops, there it is. Okay. If you can't actually like take it out because it's a bit hard without like kind of ruining it, a little trick is to get a bit of Play-Doh compound and just stick it on there and just do like that of the entry. So now we're gonna make the rocks with this mold. Well, actually you can use this mold, but I like making them with my own hands like this. And now let's just squish. Boom, 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 squish, squish, squish. So now that I finished making the entry, I'm just gonna put it where the door is, just like that. And now we're gonna get the pink one. And we're just gonna make a ball. Gonna make a ball, 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 ball. And now we're gonna squish it. Oh my God, I didn't notice I have some red in there. Ah, that's okay. Stamp on the Play-Doh compound. And now we're gonna stamp it whatever you want in this stone thing. There we have it. Now that we are done with the pineapple house. decorate it well he said I have to decorate it now for Christmas now I'm just gonna put these bows try and squish it so it doesn't go and I just made this one so gonna squish that one too. Squish, squish, squish. You can obviously decorate this however you want, but I like it like this, so I just decorate it like this. And I think I'm just gonna put this right there because, yeah, and there. Now we have to put some mail into SpongeBob's mailbox. So I'm gonna eat some mail here. SpongeBob gets a lot of mail from his mom and dad in Christmas. Bye to the viewers. All right.